Cube World. It's a gorgeous game made out of blocks, just like Minecraft, but Cube World has classes, combat, exploration, and of course, there's quests, dungeons, bosses, and even more fun. Our goal is to get to level 10 by the 10th day, and trust me, it's actually not that easy. And after that, well, I don't know, it's up to you guys. If you guys like this video, then leave a like. It helps me know what type of stuff you guys like. The vanilla updates suck, so this is actually modded Cube World. I'll leave the links in the description for how I played this version, and here we go. Okay, while I'm customizing my character and I pick my ranger class, I actually disabled the beginner's mod. It helps you progress to level 5 really, really easily, but I didn't really want that because I want the authentic cube world experience. Uh. So starting everything off, we're actually very weak. I started exploring and I found some shrines. These are like respawn points and teleportation points, but dude, we're like super weak. There's five tiers of enemies and we can really only kill the bottom tier, which is the white tier, but holy crap. I was able to kill some things, but dude, like some enemies, you just cannot do damage to them at this point. I started to just avoid some of the enemies. Now in this game, the Progression is actually very weird. Somebody in a video called it as horizontal. Experience doesn't exist. We have all the skills we need. We just need to get gear and artifacts. There's five tiers of gear and those are what really will boost our stats up in a certain region. So we're gonna have to do some missions and quests around this area to do that. I was able to find a boat and this thing was actually really fast. So yeah, everything was still really, really strong. I, I, I died a few times, right? But this game combat's really cool. You know, I was a ranger, so ranger is gonna be really, really good. And yeah, I. Honestly, I was just figuring out my skills, how I was going to play as this guy, but yeah, I was enjoying this game. After a while of struggling, I went back to the village and I bought some reins and I got some food. The reason why is because you can actually tame some pets with this food and you can actually ride them, which is actually like way faster than walking. So eventually I actually found a terrier and I was able to tame it and ride it. So yeah, the transportation is going to be way more easier. I kept exploring and I actually tried out one of the missions at Lano Grove and this is actually how it turned out. We were able to get some gear, but we are still very weak. On day two, I was able to find a magic forest, but I couldn't find anything in here. Eventually, after walking around, I actually found a divine heart. I'm going to use this later on in the video, of course. I kept exploring and walking just took so long. I'm just going to cut it all out, but I found another village. So, you know, that was nice. I did find this boss and I tried to fight it, but, um... Of course, I went off, you know, and I tried, you know, walking, but, you know, walking is just such a bit. Eventually, I found this dark forest area, dungeon, mission, whatever, and, you know, bam, 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 got some loot. I also got a new pet, so... <gasps> a turtle! Yes! 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 We have a turtle! Ah! After a while, I actually found a witch hut. Now, witches can actually petrify an entire village so that none of the NPCs could be used, so we had to, you know, kill this witch to unpetrify a village. Now, after doing that, I actually realized there's another village somewhere in these parts that I actually didn't find yet. Also, I found this thing. Oh. 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 What? Yeah, I was able to use the harp and I got a golden ring. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Now, there were some places that I was still kind of wary about, but I had some better loot now, so I could actually, you know, fight and probably like fight blue tier. So I decided to challenge this crypt with some, you know, skeletons and stuff, and this is how it went. After that, I actually went to the ocean and I tried to tame a crab, but my game crashed. It actually crashed twice, so now it's great. Okay, now on day three, I did a bunch of quests. Now, before I go into that, I'm gonna explain the tiers and the armor and all that type of stuff. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It goes from white, green, blue, purple, and gold, just like most games, but there's something called region lock. Basically, the entire like cube world map is broken into regions. Every region has its own biomes, 
quests, all that type of stuff. But in vanilla Terraria, you can't bring one gear from one region to another. People didn't like this, so they added a mod where you can actually do that. You can bring gear to another region, but it goes down in rarity. As you can see, if I go into another region, my gear goes down two stars. That's just what I wanted to mention. Anyway, on day three, I did a bunch of quests. Our gear was getting way better. I helped the dwarf. I took care of a graveyard. I cheesed the demon portal by standing extremely far and just shooting arrows. And I freed a dwarf at the top of a mountain. And I also died. Now on day four, our gear was actually pretty good. I was able to actually complete a purple mission and save a dwarf. You know, I was getting money, exploring, doing missions. And I also went to that boss that I talked about in like day two. I went to that crater and I boom. Now at this point, I felt really confident. I decided to go to a golden dungeon and these enemies are kind of strong. After a while, I was actually able to get enough gold to afford an artifact. Now, basically, artifacts are the other progression system in this game. They're the only, like, I guess, real progression you can take anywhere. They're not region locked, so basically, once you get them, it's permanent. And these are also what really shows on your level. If you have one artifact, it goes up one level. For example, if you have 10 artifacts, then your level goes up by 10. That's how it works. I went into the store and I got some upgrades, but I really needed a new weapon to really compete with the best dungeons in this region. I was going to need golden armor tier and golden weapon tier. I decided to even like peek into the next region and look as you can see your gear goes down by two stars that's just how it is region lock whatever on day five i found another purple dungeon and i was able to defeat it and i actually got a golden chest plate so yeah we're getting pretty strong i went back to the mana pump and i was actually able to kill all of the mini bosses and for some reason i couldn't actually destroy it you're supposed to kill all of the mini bosses and then the main boss spawns at the like the center of it but it didn't and after like 10 or 20 minutes i actually just gave up so that was you know kind of unfortunate but whatever Now on the minimap, there's actually this golden dungeon that I want to enter because it actually has an artifact, but I couldn't go inside of it. I went to the area and there was actually this purple barrier that stopped me from entering, so that was great. I soon realized that I actually have to find something called a wizard tower or something on the map and destroy like a crystal or something to actually open the barrier. I started scanning on the map and I actually found it and I started going towards it. Now with this, I can actually explore the dungeon. So we went back to the dungeon and this is what happened. I didn't think I could actually beat this dungeon. So on day six, I decided to get more gear and all this type of stuff. So, so I got some more money. I also went to the Sanria arena and this is what happened. <laughs> I got more money and I actually bought another artifact and now we are at level three. So yeah, seven more levels, you know, that was cool. But we're on day six, so we got four more days. After this, I actually 
conquered this entire region. I mean, like, there's the mana pump, but that was glitched. But I was good to go to another region, so that was cool. If we went to another region, it was to get another artifact, actually, you know, progress even more. But I was gonna need new gear. I started going into another region, this, this undead region, and I saw a blue dungeon and I had blue gear, so I went into it. There was a lot of cool enemies in this biome too, so... I eventually found a village in this region, and I actually look at the map, and boom, look at that. There was three artifacts in the region next to us, so why don't I just, you know, go there instead? My gear wouldn't even downgrade too, because it was still technically in the next region, so I actually flew there. I landed in the village, and I actually found a free boat. We got, you know, we had an island area, and I got a free boat, so this is awesome. I also found another village, and there was an artifact that was said to be here, and I thought it was on the village, but actually, it was in the sewer system of the island, and this is what happened. So on day 7, I gave up and I went to go exploring the Mines of Lanleon, which is another artifact dungeon. I thought that I would have better luck, and this is what happened. Yeah, it was very sad, you know, I, I almost killed it. Yeah, I was, you know, it was so, so close. But don't worry, on the second try, I was actually able to kill it. So, yeah. Yes! With that, I got another artifact, and I leveled up again. Now, throughout this entire dungeon, I did not get any gear for our character. So that was kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. I eventually found a castle that I could raid, and, well... Eventually, I killed it, and I got another artifact, and I leveled up, so awesome. On day 8, I was continuing grinding through the region, and just getting all the artifacts that I can. I found another artifact, and I leveled up again. Now, I just needed to get the one from the sewer system that I failed two days ago. I went back to the sewer system, and I was able to actually finally go through it. Now we're to level 8, and we just need two more relics to get to level 10. But I didn't want to go to another region because I didn't want to go through the hassle, so I decided to actually just go find gem traders. I flew back to the first region we went to, and eventually I found two gem traders, and there we go, level 10. 
I hope this video made you consider playing Cube World, at least modded Cube World. Modded Cube World is actually kind of fun. But Adrian, isn't this clickbait? You said 100 days, but you only played 8. If you really enjoyed this series, let me know in the comments, and I will consider making the full 100 days for you guys. One Cube World day is like about 5 Terraria days. So yeah, this it, 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 it's going to be really long, but if you guys really do enjoy this series, let me know. You know, always comment. I'm always down to talk to you guys. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, and well, bye.